and welcome to our channel. I'm Tiana. And this is Zola. And I am Ron. And today we are going on a Belgian waffle tour. We are here in Antwerp, Belgium, which is, how do you pronounce it in Dutch? Antwerpen. Antwerpen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And we are, I have made a route of every single restaurant in Antwerp that has the name Waffles in it. So we've got quite a few to tackle. The first one is here behind us called Belgian Waffles. I am a waffle girly. I know I am American, so they may be different, but I love waffles much more than I love pancakes. Don't get me wrong, Dutch pancakes are amazing. I love myself a great pan of cook, but waffles definitely have my heart. So, we're gonna go around and rank these from best to worst, and each one we're gonna give a score of how good they taste, how flavorful they are, how the consistency is, the price, and then the overall experience of the place. Let's go. So ready? Super ready. They have this syrup from those. It's so long. The sunglasses. <laughs> there you go. Hey, wat ben je mooi? Wat ben je cool? Ja. Wat ben je cool? Hey, wat ben je cool, man? Yeah. Okay. Which one you take? Oh, are we getting with toppings? This one, or do you want to just do waffle? I take with uh, whipped cream, slagroom. With whipped cream, slagroom. Okay, sounds good. I might want it with the Biscoff cookie uh, drizzle. Okay. Um, can we have two waffles? One with um, slagroom and one with the um, Biscoff. Thank you. Now. That's fast. <laughs> we switched. <laughs> yeah. This is my one. Okay. So this is what they look oh, it's super soupy. I can't really There is what it looks like. It's kind of melted the syrup on mine so far. Okay. Hey Zola. Oh, it's definitely not super soft. How is yours? It's good, but I like it when it's so crunchy, you know? Yeah, it's not it crispy. Fresh. Okay, and the taste? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit, um, wait. Maybe a little bit doughy. Okay, I like so it. the taste and the consistency, which would you give them out of 10? Yeah, the taste is, um, I think, and seven all. Okay. And the consistency in uh, seven. Okay. Sounds good. Now for mine. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Definitely a little doughy. Yeah. With more in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I would give them maybe, maybe a six for each consistency and taste. The price is normal. Three euros for them plus a dollar for toppings. So that's normal. Oh. And yeah, the overall experience, it was quick, maybe yeah, too that, quick, yeah, that, that's <laughs> why the they're not super great. Yeah. <laughs> um, the lady... Was this uh, on the internet the best one? No, I just picked every single place that said waffles in the name. Oh, yeah. So this is called Belgian waffles. So I tried it out. I wouldn't yeah. give it a great score. Okay, you see it also eat it, though we... Yeah. But here, is, you see, that's so doughy in the middle. Now, I think from now on we should share one because we still have like eight more waffles to eat today. <laughs> we shouldn't get one each. We should probably we share are, them. <laughs> I think they'll shake when we go back. Yeah, I think we would be like Oompa Loompas rolling out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, this was the Belgium Waffle House. Belgian Waffles. It's maybe also nice when we go to the Swaffle House. Swaffle? Yeah, they did we make a dick so people. Swaffle. Is that what that is? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> now we are at the next stop called the smallest waffle shop. Online it says the world's smallest waffle shop. But it's pretty small and cute. 
Let's try them. Look at you guys with your sunnies on. Hey, cool <laughs> man. Zola push uh, the camera, it's a little bit shaky shaky now. Oh yeah, she's on, it's on top of the stroller and Zola's wiggling around in there. But here we have our second waffle from the world's smallest waffle. This is the first waffle, waffle that they don't make it fresh. They don't make this, also here they don't make it fresh. It was already there, they warm it up. Yeah, yeah, that's how I think most of them are. Yeah, okay. Okay. It sounded like a little bit of a crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm. Better off the other one. Definitely better than the other one. I think yeah. it's... Taste, I would give it like an 8.5, maybe 9. It's really good. Consistency, again, a little doughy. Yeah? So maybe 7.5 for consistency. What about you? Can I have one, can I have one, one more time? We're going to try again. Uh, the crunch is uh, good. Yeah. I think that is an. Uh, well, maybe that's because you are doing the edges, because I got the middle. It's a little more doughy in the middle. Oh. Consistency, I give it in um, seven and a half. It tastes and maybe in also seven and a half. Okay. Okay. Now, on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> maybe an eight for consistency. It's a yeah. little doughy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Quick little intermission. Next uh, project. Yeah. Beer tasting. Beer for you and some ginger ale for me. Cheers. A little bit doughy. With construction. How do you call that? <laughs> Not cool. I, mean, I was busy with the construction guy. <laughs> Consistency. But, uh, yeah, that is an. Uh, um, Ten. Ten? Yeah, taste. And taste? Mm. Eleven. Whoa, I don't know if any other place is going to beat no. that. We can go back. <laughs> mm. Cheers. Cheers. Prost. Prost. So, this is the one I was most excited for. They have like waffles that they put like, they make them into burgers and they look so good. But it's closed. So. On to the next one. But now we go to an area. Yeah? That, yeah. That We're going to go walk we, down we give, the... We give numbers of, uh, to different people or to different the, to things. To the naked ladies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can use your camera there. Oh, then we do a little bit home like this. So, hey, so love. <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys know that Belgium also has a red light district? Because I did not. I thought it was only in the Netherlands that it was legal. But no. it's also legal here, too. Yeah. That's wild. Maybe we walk this way, and then we go that way, and then we go back. Okay. No. Here we are at our third Waffle House. Let's see how it is. Ron just said he wants to try the chocolate-covered strawberries as well, so we'll give those a taste as well. Yeah, I think they are good. Yeah, they look really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Which one? We do a normal one. Of it's a... Uh... I don't know, the picture makes the one with chocolate and whipped cream and strawberries look really good. Except for it's this $2 one. for each topping. So then that will be $10 for 10 euros for a waffle. Yeah. Let's try that. Uh, yeah? But not with chocolate then, eh? Okay, so just whipped cream and, and strawberries. Yeah. Sounds good. And uh, aardbeien. Yeah. Chocolade? Uh, nee. Nee, and mag ik ook nog zo eentje met... Um, yeah. This with aardbeien, or not? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Yeah, I haven't even already. tried it. <laughs> oh, chocolate covered strawberries are so good. Good? Ten out of ten. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Now I want the next one. I thought I'm gonna stab myself. You can do it. You exercise every evening. <laughs> so, so mm. the, yeah. thick, the thickness of the, the chocolate, chocolate is, is perfect. perfect. Yeah. The ratio is perfect. Yeah. yeah. 
like strawberries fresh. Uh -huh. Fresh from Holland. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Super good. What is the name of it? Fruity de Anvers. How do you say that? Fruity de Anvers. Yeah, de Anvers. De Anvers. I think. It sounds like French almost. Yeah. Ah. But they, this is the first place that makes them fresh, right? Instead of just reheating an yeah. already made waffle. Also the strawberries, they cut them now, not before. I see. Perfect. Yeah. So real fresh. They make the whipped cream now. <laughs> it's just milking no, the cow fresh. right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the cow. Oh, you see it. Ooh, what is it yeah, that's good, thanks. <laughs> Now, <laughs> oh, that looks yummy. Well, check out money. Yeah, that's a lot of strawberries. That, that's two euros worth of strawberries, I would say. Now, let's go eat it at this nice view. Uh, so. Now, I would say this is two euros worth of strawberries, but not two euros worth of whipped cream. Oh. Are they super good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Strawberries at 10. 10, okay. Yeah. Now the waffle. It is strawberry season though too, right now. Yeah. So that's... Waffle's crunchy. It's all plus one. <laughs> no. This is a little bit doughy, but it's nice. This doughy. I gotta bite with everything. Strawberries, whipped cream, and waffle. Mmm. Yeah, it is definitely doughy though. Yeah, but I think they need to be doughy a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise they are dry. Maybe that's just because like I think Belgian waffles compared to like what I'm used to are more thick than I would make in America. Now I want to try just the waffle by itself because the strawberries and the cream definitely escalate the flavor mm. before I give it a rating. It's going to be gone by the time he gives it back to me. Jeez. I, he likes it. <laughs> I eat some strawberries for you. Oh, okay, so that you, so that some of the <laughs> waffle is available. Yeah. There's so many strawberries on it. Yeah. Okay. Try this. Was it good? This is now, the one, what's your rating? Um, Taste, consistency. Eight and a half, and eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half for both. Yeah. I would say taste. Yeah, maybe an eight. Consistency. I don't know how much I love the consistency. I would say maybe more, like six and a half for the consistency. Yeah. But overall, yeah, it's good. I'm a little bit nauseous. <laughs> Probably you just shoved that down your throat. Oh no. I don't want to finish this. It's too much. Too much sugar. Oh. And now you need to throw up. <laughs> I think I'm starting to regret the decision to do this. Bye. Because we're only three waffles in and I'm already sick of waffles. <laughs> yeah, but I think we need to um, taste on two bites and then... And then throw it. Give it to a uh, homeless guy. Oh yeah, there's plenty of homeless people here. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. But that's, all, that's also what I think and then it's so nice and, and, and then I then think about it. it, think about it, think about it and shit, it's already gone. Okay, let's go. Perfect, this is the place. There we are. You sit in the stroller. We don't have a stand. This is the cathedral. How do you call it? Cathedral? Yeah. Cathedral. Yeah, cathedral. Yeah. So this was the next stop on our list, but it's closed. This one was called the Parlone. Ice cream and waffles, but artisan ice cream and waffles. But it's closed, so on to the next one. So we are at our fourth um, waffle shop here in Antwerp and it is called the Bubble Waffle Cafe. We just ordered a plain bubble waffle. 
so we'll see. I've never had a bubble waffle, so I wonder if the consistency or the what's different about a bubble waffle compared to a regular waffle. No bubbles on it, no holes. Oh, oh, is that what it is? <laughs> but and they are round. They're round instead of square. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? I gotcha. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's see how, how it is. This is our first one that's like an actual like sit-down little cafe, which it's cute. Brown also got a coffee. The menu here is all much more extensive than just waffles. They have like, oh, on the sign it says breakfast, lunch, brunch, bubble waffles, ice cream, and coffee. And next, what is next? After this one, we're going to the House of Waffles, and then we're going to the Waffle Factory. What is the best one? I don't know. On the the, waf Google. the house of wa house of waffles had good reviews. Uh, the waffle factory had really bad reviews. So we'll see. Maybe it's better when we don't go than there. Yeah, but we gotta try it out. See why why does it have the bad does it deserve the bad reviews or are people just being mean? Yeah. You know. She may can leave for me. She did. But I think I'm also the number one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I think she's uh, giving me a sign. I think it was for me. Now she's now behind you in the window. She asked for my phone number. <laughs> hey. You can have it if you want to be number one. No. That's not good. No. I hope the waffle is different then. Yeah, it's like a. Okay. Normally you get a nice cookie, but this is like. Okay, like an animal cracker. Oh, hey, it's not round. It's an octagon. No, hexagon. Look at those bubbles. Oh, they like pull apart. No. Oh, I'm going to eat it bubble at a time. Really? That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was for you to make it fresh. Yeah, I would say the taste is like a nine. Consistency, I would like it maybe a little bit more crunchy, so maybe like an eight, but it's really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Not too sweet, not too not sweet. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Straight in with the fingers. Oh, it tastes like um, wolfie cheese. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the taste I give it a seven and a half and then seven. Seven and a half and seven. You yeah. think the last one was better, the yeah. waffle? Yeah. Okay. Now, then I'll eat this and you can drink your coffee. No. Yeah. Enjoy. It's that way, so. Huh? <laughs> Oh, I lost you. No. It's that way, Paul. Or that way. And then that oh, way. that way. The quality Belgian chocolates. No. I can't even think of anything sweet right now. No? Oh, so much chocolate. No, or so many I sweets. never heard that at your, your mouth. I know. I never thought I would say it in my life. No. I thought I was going to have the best day today just eating sugar all day long. My stomach does not think the same. No. But I think it's probably because I ate absolutely nothing else because I thought... Ah, we're gonna eat so many waffles today. I don't need anything else. But what do you think when you go to the toilet? How does your poop look like? Like a bubble waffle or like <laughs> a uh, square waffle? I think probably like a bubble waffle. Yeah. Or maybe like the dough before it's put in the waffle maker. Or maybe like water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like the coffee you just drink. <laughs> so nice. Also like a waffle for data. Eh? The waffle, waffle coating. There's a table. Yeah. I want the pretty view. Now, this place is called the House of Waffles and this menu is a little more elaborate. They've got like some savory options and I think I'm gonna go for a savory option because I need some protein in my substance, in my body. Yeah. Because right now I've- But then you eaten... take a waffle with chicken. Yeah. Chicken and waffles is super so let's good. Let's say also what I do sometimes with the pancake and the satay sauce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they also have one with salmon. You might like it. Yeah, I see that also something of avocado. Oh yeah, with avocado and tomatoes. 
I didn't. I only looked quickly at the menu online, so we'll look more before we make a decision. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> we have. Hey, the Michael Jordan waffles. <laughs> the history of waffles. Hey, babe, your waffles. <gasps> American. There's Brussels and what is this? Lox. Loxy. Waffles. Loxa. Loxa. Yeah, that's a city in uh, in uh, Belgium. Loc. Oh. We have this one. This one. Well, this one we take already 300 times today. Yeah. This also. This also. Ah, here you have them. Ooh. Uh, Salmon. What is oh, this? this one looks good. Chicken. With the ham or, or the burrata. bacon. Or is it uh, mozzarella? Uh, burrata, I think. Or mozzarella, maybe. Yeah. This one looks super good. Yeah. I think we know it already. So the difference between the two waffles is the Brussels waffle is light, crispy, and slightly bigger. And then the lie, lie? Light. No, lie, the other city is lie. So? Leisure, like. He. Yeah, leisure, like. Okay, yeah. They are sweet, sugary, and slightly smaller. Oh. Yeah. But why they do then two American people on that? Um, I genuinely have no idea because they're both holding different waffles. That's the difference. These are smaller. This is yeah, bigger. Yeah, but why that uh, that people? What is that? To do, what is that to do with like? I have no idea. <laughs> I did not make the menu. It's a, a strange concept to be explaining the history of waffles and then put two American presidents on, but I didn't make the menu. So, uh. <laughs> and Michael Jordan. Yeah. Ah, that's very random, but... You know it, huh? Yeah. Now, this looks like a waffle. Yeah. It's on a Belgian waffle. Maybe that's why they're more crispy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Now. Oh. Good? Mm -hmm. Best. By far. Now let me try just the waffle. Wash. <laughs> mm. Consistency, 10 out of 10. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Yeah? Oh my gosh, yeah. Try it. You have high expectations now, huh? Mm -hmm. Now the taste, it tastes like nothing. Maybe mine had some sauce on it. Yeah, <laughs> when I taste it on this way, then uh, I have also... Um, egg sauce on it and everything. Yeah, but I, I think maybe I had a little bit of this sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Super good all together, huh? Yeah, all together, yeah. Then knife. But let me try just this then. Yeah. No, I still think that's 10 out of 10. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But it tastes like uh, there's no sugar in it or nothing. Well, yeah, but you normally put a little bit of syrup on it or something. You normally put something on it. Okay. The other waffles didn't taste like anything <laughs> she either. Like also something. The yolk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you krijgen wat hoor. Papa doet wel voor je regelen. Ja, kijk eens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could eat this for breakfast every day. Echt. <laughs> well, look at that consistency. That is perfect. Yeah, but that's not what I, how I think when I think about a waffle. I think about the... Uh, you think of the other ones. Yeah, that's for me. Uh, I know what you mean. This is more for, for this is nice. No, but this is the kind of waffle that I like. So I like Brussels waffles better. Oh, okay. Then, I guess. But that's what the difference is. Because these are lighter and more crispy. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. They're really good. Zola, what give you the cipher? 10? 10? Yeah. 10.
What? Well, wait, what number did you give it? You didn't give it a number yet. Six and a half. Six and a half? X? Yeah. Oh? For taste or consistency? Both. Now the consistency is good. Okay, so what did the consistency get? Seven. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now. Next. The waffle factory. Yeah. That was the worst one, though. Oh, they have a little. Oh, yeah. yeah, I see already. They have everything there already ready. The plastic. Yeah. But they have. Brussels huh? waffles, five euros. Okay, so they're the most expensive for the roadside, like one of these, not a sit down restaurant. Yeah. Oh, maybe the. How much are the light waffles? I wonder if the, if those are cheaper because they're a little smaller. Let's oh, see I don't on know. the menu. What does it say? Oh, the other ones are four euros. The Brussels are five. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. I Take wonder care. if it's me biased because this one is the Brussels one, which I like more than the light ones. Yeah. But you can uh, you can compare this to the other one. Say mm. <laughs> so kijk op eten. She really likes to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> the crunch is good. The consistency is good. That's about it. <laughs> it had a nice bite. Yeah. I would say maybe like a seven and a half for the consistency and a yeah, four for the taste. <laughs> That's good. Huh? This is the company, by the way. <laughs> They're also right behind me, so I don't want to talk loud because I don't want them hearing me talking shit about yeah. it. <laughs> okay, you try. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, the bite is good. Yeah. But I like this taste more than the other one where we sit before. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I think I give it um, a bite an eight, and it tastes an, um, I think an um, seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. The other one, there's no, there's no taste on. This I feel like this one has no taste. No, this one has sweeter. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. The other one is maybe more made for that it is uh, with, with um, a sandwich. Yeah, like a sandwich. Yeah. Uh, when you do that other one also super sweet, then it's not nice with the bacon and right. the egg. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Zola, what do you think? Babe, she's had enough sugar today. Don't give her any more. She's going to throw up. You mag niet. Yeah, sorry. Okay, come we go. <laughs> okay, come we go. Okay, guys, we are headed back home now. And our bellies are full, full, full of sugar. That was sleepy. Yeah, tired from, that was a lot of day, a lot of eating sugar all day. Yeah. A lot of waffles. It was yeah. a fun day for sure. Antwerp is a super cute city to yeah. explore. Yeah, yeah, I'd never been there. Um, so it was nice just to roam around and taste different waffles. Um, but now, it's more famous from the, for all the drinks, the beer and everything. Yeah, Belgian beer. Yeah. I've been to Belgium one time. I went to Brussels um, many years ago, and I <laughs> went on a Belgian beer tour. I'm not a beer girly, but I was like, I'm in Belgium. I got to go on a beer tour, right? I did not realize the extent of how drunk you can get on 10% alcohol because the beers here are, there's no, there's no 3, 4, 5% like I'm used to in America. No, 10, 12, 7 is like super low. Yeah. So I like this much beer, but 15 of them, and I was hammered. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, back to the waffles. Let's see. My, I'll rank, we're going to rank them number one to number six. My favorite was definitely the house of waffles with the egg and bacon it's definitely the best then i would say would be the bubble waffle i think 
And then the world's smallest waffle um, bakery place. Then the fruity bakery, or the fruity um, waffle house. Then the Belgian waffle, the first one. And then I think the, the waffle factory was my least favorite. What about you? Do you remember them all? No, but I think my favorite one was the one with all the strawberries. Okay, the fruity. And then um, uh, the first one, the, by the uh, car. The Belgian waffle? Yeah, that one. Okay, was number two. And I think your uh, last favorite. Yes! Yeah. The Waffle Factory, number three. Yeah. And then the, the um, smallest one. The world's smallest waffle, okay. Well, I have two left, though. Yeah, you have the House of Waffles and the Bubble Waffles. Yeah, and then the House of Waffles and then the Bubble Waffles. Wow, okay, so you're like the complete opposite of me. Yeah, when you, when you, well, the waffle from the House of Waffles was nothing. Yeah, I liked the waffle from the House of Waffles. But that thing on it was nice. But yeah, of course, the whole sandwich together yeah. was absolutely delicious. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, but the waffle itself was, I thought the waffle was really good. Yeah. But you did not. No. But yeah. That was a wonderful day. Thank you guys. But when you when you when oh. you, when I when I do let's say what I like the most, then yeah. then the house of waffles is number one. Right, because of the whole then, sandwich. Yeah, and then the number two is with all the strawberries. Okay, okay, that's that's fair. That's yeah. fair for you to say. But okay. I like uh, the things with uh, bacon, and, and but also I, I do it yeah. also when I go to the pancake house. Right. Then I like also the crazy pancakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. And have a great week. Bye. Bye.